Hey everyone, thanks for coming back to the channel. Today we got another little, just an update video, basically. I, for the last couple months here, I've been putting out videos about EDC stuff, and I wanted to go over some of the stuff that made the cut after a little bit of time with it, and stuff that didn't quite make the cut. Before we get started with any of that though, 99% of you watching these videos aren't subscribed, so if you could really just do me a favor, help the channel out, hit the sub button, and we'll go from there. First and foremost, we're gonna start with the Brute V3. So this is a keychain little flashlight. The review video is down below, but I've run into a couple of issues. I've gone to use it and it's been completely dead. And that's happened about four different times. And I think what's happening is the button, it doesn't have a lockout and the buttons are actually depressing in my pocket and it's draining the battery because obviously if you push the button it goes into high mode or onto the high mode on the side one it's still a great flashlight in the sense that it's bright and especially for the price it works really well but if you go to use it and it's dead it's not going to do anyone any good so these are just little strips of painter's tape and i use those to try and stop the buttons from being depressed in my pocket and so far i think it's worked but you really shouldn't have to mod your flashlight. The second thing I didn't like about this that I thought I actually would like is the magnet. I like the ability to use it magnetically when you can, and not everything is magnetic, not everything is ferrous, right? So you can't use it in every situation anyways, but when it's on your keychain, it just ends up mashing Whoa. everything and sticking all the keys and, and little knives to it and everything, it just, it's really irritating. I tried digging it out and I couldn't do anything like that. For now, I'm gonna use it. It's still a, a really capable flashlight, but I am in the market for something a little, or with at least a lockout on it. Second item I wanted to go over is the Roxon M4. So this is the keychain, knife, pocket, multi-tool, whatever you wanna call it. This is the one that has all the, the scissors, the file, the little blade, and uh, the nail clipper. So the nail clippers, I will say, are still pretty good. I like the nail clippers. They are on the small side. The thing I had an issue with with this is it's pretty bulky. I still use this. It just lives in my truck now because I can't have it on my keychain. It just with this and this and all my key fobs and everything, it was like a ball in my pocket. Blades held up okay. It's a pretty soft stainless steel. Uh, it doesn't have the best edge retention. It's not the most durable steel. Those are for the two items that I did separate videos on. The rest of it was that I wanted to go over was the Timu stuff. We'll start right with the wallet. Okay at first, but it did not take long for it to start breaking down. I don't even have it with me right now because I changed it out at work and I went back to this Tom Talk, very old Tom Talk one I had, just for the simple fact that it was falling apart and I didn't like it. So it was very stiff, it's very plasticky feeling. Just buy the name brand Herschel one, don't bother with the knockoffs with that. The next item I had here was the it was the belt loop or strap loop. I think it was more meant for straps or pockets. This thing was really nice in the sense that it's very low profile and I have my work keys on this. And if you might notice, these are just little, those rubber twist ties. And I just wrap those around my keys and it stops it from jingling. <laughs> little bonus tip with a little bit of work it's actually held up and become very usable. So first and foremost, I pulled this out a little bit, pried it with a little pry bar, and that actually fits on my belt now without any issue. The second thing I did was I chamfered these inside edges a little bit. They were very like 90 degree, quite sharp. So it was kind of hard to adjust and everything, but with that little bit of chamfer on there, it makes it just so it slides around and you can Pull it on and off with a little bit more ease. What else we got? Oh, the tweezers, I guess. So the tweezers have been really good, actually. They're quite small. Uh, they don't have the most precision tip on them and everything, but they actually do really well at pulling out whatever you need. These are supposed to be a titanium, so they don't necessarily affect the magnet, but the key ring does. So again, I more things that I could remove from the keychain, the better with that. The only other things from that order was this belt. And the belt, 
is junk. <laughs> it's, it's, the zipper is massively thick. It's fraying and it keeps having these weird little hairs pulling off and the actual clasp itself is not very strong. So you put it on and it constantly loosens. I don't like that. So this thing is going to be retired basically, unless I really want to build some kind of survival kit in it or something or travel. Maybe I could see maybe wanting to use this traveling, but for like an everyday thing, no dice. The second Timu order, I had the water bottle upstairs, but I wanted to go through a few things with that. So the water bottle has a very small tip on it, the nozzle where you drink out of. And it makes it incredibly hard to drink anything quickly. So it's constantly glugging and everything. It's a neat shape and it fits in spots like on my nightstand. It doesn't take up too much room beside my lamp. I don't still know if it leaks. It, it, it's not the greatest quality either. So I don't know if I trust putting it in my tech kit or anything like that. The pen, I don't even know where it is. It's around here somewhere. I think it's already in one of my kits. It works really well. There's nothing, I have no complaints about that little pen. It is pretty cheap, obviously. <laughs> it was cheap in price and in quality. Uh, it works though. The notepad works. That little USB adapter I'm using right now, it seems to be doing just fine. These little things like the uh, alcohol swabs and the, the towels, there, there's nothing wrong with that. I've used these things, the little swabs, a couple of times now. And I still have my fingers, so it hasn't uh, done anything. There's no ill effects from that. And I think that's about it. Got some really fun, exciting things coming up. I had a company reach out to me with for a collaboration idea, and I'm really excited to bring that to you guys. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks a lot. Okay, good enough. Quick and dirty. Just the way I like them. Just kidding. <laughs> see, look at it. Alrighty. Just a mess. I want that magnet out. <laughs>